Good morning. This morning's mass shall be offered for Chris O'Connor. O Lord, do not stay afar off. My strength make haste to help me, for I am a worm and no man, scorned by everyone, despised by the people. In the name of the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Let us acknowledge our sins so as to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have made all those reborn in Christ a chosen race and a royal priesthood, grant us, we pray, the grace to will and to do what you command that the people called to eternal life may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I will take the children of Israel from among the nations to which they have come, I will gather them from all sides to bring them back to their land. I will make them one nation upon the land, in the mountains of Israel, and there shall be one prince for them all. Never again shall they be two nations, and never again shall they be divided into two kingdoms. No longer shall they defile themselves with their idols, their abominations, and all their transgressions. I will deliver them from all their sins of apostasy, and cleanse them, so that they may be my people, and I may be their God. My servant David shall be prince over them, and there shall be one shepherd for them all. They shall live by my statutes and carefully observe my decrees. They shall live on the land that I gave to my servant Jacob, the land where their fathers lived. They shall live on it forever, they and their children and their children's children. With my servant David, their prince forever. I will make with them a covenant of peace, shall be an everlasting covenant with them, and I will multiply them and put my sanctuary among them forever. My dwelling shall be with them, and I will be their God, and they will be my people. Thus the nation shall know that it is I, the Lord, who will make Israel holy, and my sanctuary shall be set up among them forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it on distant isles and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessing. The grain, the wine, and the oil, the sheep and the oxen. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and the young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. The Lord will guard us as shepherd guards his flock. I cleanse my heart and my lips, Almighty God. So. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Cast away from you all the crimes you have committed, says the Lord. 
and make for yourselves a new heart and new spirit. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Many of the Jews who had come to Mary and seen what Jesus had done began to believe in him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. So the chief priests and the Pharisees convened the Sanhedrin, and said, What are we going to do? This man is performing many signs. If we leave him alone, all will believe in him, and the Romans will come and take away both our land and our nation. But one of them, Caiaphas, who was high priest that year, said to them, You know nothing, nor do you consider that it is better for you that one man should die instead of the people, so that the whole nation may not perish. He did not say this on his own, but since he was high priest for that year, he prophesied that Jesus was going to die for the nation, and not only for the nation, but also to gather into one the dispersed children of God. So from that day on, they planned to kill him. So Jesus no longer walked about in public among the Jews, but he left for the region near the desert to a town called Ephraim, and there he remained with his disciples. Now the Passover of the Jews was near, and many went up from the country to Jerusalem before the Passover to purify themselves. They looked for Jesus and said to one another, as they were in the temple area, What do you think, that he will not come to the feast? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We see in our first reading today, God prophesied through the prophet Ezekiel that he will purify Israel of all her abominations, apostasies, transgressions, divisions, and unite Israel into one, into one kingdom. And that prophecy is fulfilled in Christ with the shedding of his blood on the cross through his passion, death, and resurrection, and by his establishing of the church. We see also in the gospel today the plotting against Jesus by the high priest and the calculation. Sometimes in our world today, we can fall into a certain temptation to try to justify ourselves and the sins that we done that we do but the ends never justify the means the important thing in light of our calling to live in the world is to maintain that purity and innocence of heart and we're able to maintain that purity and innocence of heart through christ by the power of his precious blood by his grace Invoking it when we are tempted, invoking it when we fall, seeking it at confession and at mass, uniting our hearts, uniting our struggles, uniting our darkness and temptations to the Lord and allowing him to wash us clean. It is important also in light of the reality of sin, as we see from the Pharisees and in their plotting against Jesus, that we have a certain humility within our hearts. Humility towards God, humility towards what God is doing in the present moment. That humility will enable us to rely on him. It will also help us to foster the virtue of prudence, knowing how to act in the moment without compromising who we are, compromising the faith, compromising our strengths and identity, but at the same time, not becoming puffed up and pompous. Prudence and humility enable me to respond to God and faith, hope, and love in the moment. They enable me to 
see the plan of God and to cooperate with that plan without getting in the way. This also enables me to see truth for what it is, but also to see my own limits in perceiving the truth, in my opinions, in my feelings, but knowing how to act. As the great Dominican theologian Garigou Lagrange once said in his Three Ages of the Interior Life, to become holy, the strong must become meek. Not that they lose their strength, but that they rooted in the Lord and according to God's plan and in cooperation with his grace, they knew, know how to use that well in the moment. On the flip side, he also says, the weak must become strong. And that means surrendering our hearts, surrendering ourselves, surrendering ourselves to the moment and trusting us, entrusting ourselves to the Lord, echoing that cry of Jesus on the cross, Father, into your hands, I commend my spirit in our life, in our struggles, in our joy. We also see our Lord withdraw from Jerusalem before the Passover and people speculate about what he's going to do. They want to know to tickle their fancy. But the important thing our Lord is focusing in on is fulfilling the Father's will, giving glory to the Father by loving him and by laying down his life for us in love to redeem us from sin. So we pray at this Mass through the Eucharist that we're about to receive that the Lord may purify our hearts of all fear, of all tendency to emasculate our faith, to emasculate our identities. We also pray that the Lord may heal us from all tendency towards prideful self-absorption, to puffiness, so that we may see the truth of who God is, the truth of God working in the moment by the power and grace of the Holy Spirit, and to correspond and cooperate with that grace, so that the precious blood of Christ, which flowed during his passion and from the cross, may cover us, strengthen us, and heal us, so that we may bear fruits of divine love and eternal life here and now. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May the gifts we offer from our fasting be acceptable to you, O Lord, we pray, and as an expiation for our sins. May they make us worthy of your grace and lead us to what you promise for eternity through Christ our Lord. Amen.
the Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant your peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all those who hold him to the truth and on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, for they offer them for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the, for the redemption of their souls and hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. And commune with those whose memory you venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul. Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and count among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. With eyes raised to heaven, to you, God, as Almighty Father, give you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more give you thanks. He said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and people, offer to your glorious majesty 
and the gifts you have given us. This pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as one true please to accept the gifts of your servant able to just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us, who through this participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith, and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. But it's also your servants who, those sinners, hope in abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon, through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and be so known upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Live not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity, in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you, my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though you have already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. At your feet, O oh my Jesus, I prostrate myself, and I offer you repentance of my contrite heart, which is humbled in its nothingness and in your holy presence. I adore you in the sacrament of your holy love, the most holy Eucharist. I desire to receive you into the poor dwelling that my heart offers you. While waiting for the happiness of sacramental communion, I wish to possess you in spirit. Come to me, O oh my Jesus, since I, for my part, am coming to you. May your love embrace my whole being in life and in death. I believe in you. I hope in you. I love you. Amen. Christ was handed over to gather into one the scattered children of God. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the, your most, from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Bow down for the blessing. Have mercy, Lord, on your church, as she brings you her supplications, and be attentive to those who incline their hearts before you. Do not allow, we pray, those you have redeemed by the death of your only begotten Son to be harmed by their sins or weighed down by their trials through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen. Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning, weeping, this valley of tears. Turn thy most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, most holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, our refuge and our strength, look down with favor upon thy people, crying to thee the glorious intercession of the Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God, of St. Joseph, her spouse, of thy blessed apostles, St. Peter and St. Paul, and all the saints, in your mercy and goodness, hear the prayers that we pour forth for the conversion of sinners, and for the liberty and exaltation of our Holy Mother, the Church, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. Do thou, Prince Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. O sacred Lord Jesus, have mercy on us. O sacred Lord Jesus, have mercy on us. O sacred Lord Jesus, have mercy on us.